slow guys um i just want to um share with you um uh my beans area um i had to make some changes for this year because last year it was um it seemed like the beans were all over the place and i couldn't get into it um uh to you know to um get the beans because it had no way to get in there. it was just all over the place so um i had to come up with another idea of how to um plant my beans and be able to get in there and pick the beans and um so I sort of came up with an idea to make, um, to run the trellis. So this is, um, this is what I did. I, um, my husband and I did it together. Um, we sort of make a way where we made an X where you can go in there and where these holes at is where I'm going to place um, the beans. Um, now, it's sort of late out here and the gnats are bad. They eating me alive. But I needed to go ahead and get this video started and I need to go ahead and put my, um, my, my beans in the ground because it's warm enough now and I think that we have, um, we have passed the last frost date. You know, you, you never know because you don't know how Mother Nature is going to do. But I I think and I hope and I pray that we did pass the last frost date. And um, I can start my, um, my beans and my beans area right there. So I had to hurry up and come out here and um, video this. Uh, before my unit in the house jump on and you can't hear what I'm saying. So I'm going to do the string beans right there. And um, I'm going to do the llama beans here. Now, I have a trellis there, but I may not need the trellis because um, it it is, at the llama beans is a bush beans. So, um, you know, if I don't need the trellis, I'll just move it out the way. So, yeah, guys, um, I already uh, dig the hole there. And I think I'm going to come out in the morning, early in the morning, um, and go ahead and drop the beans in here um, over the side to see I need the holes right there where it can come up on the on the on the trellis now um i like the um kentucky kentucky wonders and uh, i think i'm gonna do in this section here kentucky wonder i'm gonna do three section of the kentucky wonder and then i'm gonna do one section over there of the uh, asparagus um beans so this is what i have Oh no, wait a minute, I might change that. I got the Kentucky Wonder Pool beans. And um, I have the the long asparagus beans. Um, I also got some cow peas. I'm gonna try this. Cause my husband love cow peas. He love peas and rice. And then I have the um, this is the butter beans, and this is the baby lima bush beans. So, um, yeah, I put the bush over here in the container, and as you can see, the container is already, one of the containers is gone. So this is the last year for that container. Um, I would have to get another container. But yeah, I think I'm gonna do um, two section of the, uh, Kentucky Wonders, and then I'm gonna do a section over there of the 
um, cow peas and I'm gonna do a section of the asparagus beans. So um, let me see, I'll do two there, one over there and one there. So yeah, guys, this is my setup. I just wanna do a short um, video um, to let you see how my husband and I did it because um, it was a mess. I mean, I got plenty of beans but I have to pull the bush down and trying to get into the area of the bush. So I wanted to come up with a more creative idea to do it this year. Okay, guys, that is it because it's getting dark out here. You have a wonderful um, afternoon. And um, if you have not hit the subscribe um, button, please hit the subscribe, the thumbs up, and leave a comment um, and um, thank you for watching another one of my video and I'll see you in my next upcoming video and remember to uh, eat what you grow and grow what you eat okay bye guys